Hello viewers, let's quickly go through the main learning objectives for this course. First of all, we need to be able to identify the main parts of Excel 365 interface. Me, I'm going to be using Excel 365, but whichever version of Excel you are going to be using, but just know what we are going to be focusing on here is the Excel interface or what we are going to be looking at within Excel. So which is going to enable us to, 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 it is going to, by helping us to identify the main parts of the Excel, Excel interface, it's going to help us know where exactly to go on the interface, on the Excel interface to get things done really quickly. Because if you know where to go, if you know that when I need to do this, I'm supposed to go in this place, it will help you to be able to move quickly and improve your speed. So another important thing that you are going to be able to get out of this course is starting to understand the, 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 the keyboard. In other words, our emphasis here is going to be, we are going to mainly focus on the use of keyboard rather than using the mouse so you are going to start understanding the use of the keyboard because there is a very huge advantage of of using the keyboard and one of them it can it can help you move much more quickly and efficiently on the computer so we are going to introduce we are going to introduce you to the use of keyboard than the use of a mouse so we are going to introduce you to it and also help you to memorize some of the most common keyboard shortcuts we are, we have some of them here these are some of the shortcuts that we are talking about these are some of them so i want you to uh, uh, we we will help you to actually memorize some of them because we understand that microsoft microsoft excel has hundreds of possible settings that you can configure one of the advantage of taking this course is that we are going to show you how to focus on the most important settings that you need to set up for success in the finance industry so remember our emphasis is mainly helping the finance professionals, finance and accounting professionals. So we are bringing all the things that, we, that are supposed to be used within the financing industry. So you will also understand some of, this, of the settings that we need to actually have so that we can be able to handle some of these issues efficiently. So, the other thing that we do in this course is the other thing that we do in this course is to is to to show you how to set up the quick access toolbar. We shall see what the quick access toolbar is, but for now, just know we are going to show you how to set up the quick access toolbar. And what this can do is to is it can it can it can further improve your speed and accuracy with the, the use of keyboard because we know from the fact that excel is a pretty sophisticated piece of software and it can be a little bit overwhelming to look through the many features that are available so this course will really help you filter down through those features to focus on the ones that are the most common within the finance industry. And finally, Excel also has some more advanced features, but a lot of these can be really time consuming to learn. And some of them, they are not so useful. So in this course, we are going to filter down through them. So so that we can focus only on those ones which are 
going to be the most useful for financial analysis. So that's basically some of the things or the learning outcomes, what you expect from this course. They look to be a little bit smaller in number, but if we go through the specifics, you are going to find that we are going to learn a lot, a lot, a lot. And if you are a complete beginner for Excel and you are within that docket of finance and accounting, just know you are in the right place. Even when you are not in that docket, but you are willing to actually learn some of the things that are done there, you are going to be benefiting a lot from this course. So that's what we are going to, to see as far as the learning objectives or the learning outcomes are concerned. So in the next video, we are going to be talking about, we are going to be seeing how the keyboard, how the use of a keyboard is more of a use than the use of a mouse within the Excel, within the finance profession. We are basically trying to look at, we are trying to focus our efforts on using the keyboard than using the mouth. So we are going to be looking at in the next, what we are going to be looking at in the next slide is we are going to be using, we are going to be looking at the keyboard over the mouth. In, in other words, we are looking at those advantages of us using the keyboard over the mouth. See you there in the next video.